Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie Lorraine and this is Nia Shea Healing. Welcome to a new week in December, December 9th, 2019, and I'm here with your daily tarot message. Now today I also pulled four cards, three tarot cards, one oracle card for the overall theme. Well, let's get started. I don't want to hold you, okay? So the overall theme today is the re repetition card upside down. So when I see that card, normally when I feel, when I get a reverse card, normally means that you're doing something wrong. Today, I'm getting the reverse card kind of twofold. So reverse repetition means that you are doing something over and over again, expecting a different result, okay? So repetition, re repetition upside down means that you should not be doing that, okay? So I read this reversal as actually in the upright where you have decided to stop doing that. You have decided to stop doing things over and over expecting a different result. And any of you um, word people like me, you know that that is the definition of insanity, doing something over and over expecting a different result. So it makes sense once I pulled the three cards following it. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay followed by the seven of pentacles upright and concluding with i love this card man the eight of swords all right you got two swords decks and a pen two swords and a pinnacle so with that being said the nine of swords to me today is saying that you're kind of letting things fall away from you okay you are taking the time to realize that things that are not in your control you you can't control them and you're not wanting to to hold on to them okay and this can resonate with people who are people pleasers and you know you desperately want the people to be happy with you at all times and everyone and as you grow wiser you realize that that's impossible everyone can't love you all the time some people just won't like you just because their own internal things and sometimes you just don't mesh with someone and that's fine so this nine of swords is saying that you have finally realized and letting these daggers kind of fall outside of you they're not penetrating you like it would be um on the nine of on um, what was the other one the ten of swords one of the cards that i normally show you with the burdens i can't remember right now that's terrible and then with this seven of pentacles, this is like planting things. This is tending to a garden, tending to a garden of your life, essentially. So taking away from the old ideas or leaving the old ideals behind and kind of planting new ideals for you. And with anything... You know, you don't plant a seed and then overnight there's a tree or a rose bush or whatever you're planting, a plant. It takes time and nurturing. You have to water it. You have to give it sunlight. You have to weed it if need be. These are things you have to tend to these things so it can form strong roots in order for it to be a solid part of your life. So that is what a lot of people are doing right now. They're planting these new ideals that um, will take them from 2020 until 2030. Okay, this is a big decade for a lot of people in 2020 to kick off. And then from 2010, or 2010, 2020 to 2030, you're going to see a lot of transitions. Okay, and this is all very positive things. And it's not easy to let go of our old ideals, especially if you have, if they're not only influenced by your own personal dynamics, like your family dynamics, but if they are enhanced by social dynamics. So if you have twofold, it takes a lot of strength to overcome those and be like, hey, no, that doesn't work for me. I'm going to do what feels right. And then when that happens, you get this 
transformation and a lot of people i think they're crows or ravens both of them kind of have negative con con uh, connotations in literature um i'm a big literature nerd so edgar Allan poe the raven is a big one um and a lot of ravens just get a bad rap but ravens and crows are very very spiritual creatures and are very very wise creatures and when you see them they normally do not mean negativity they normally mean great wisdom and that you're going to receive clarity so with the coffin and you inside or yeah you inside of it surrounded by the crows it means like you are going to get extreme wisdom and clarity coming from multiple directions Okay, but this only is because you have stopped listening possibly to outside resource or outsiders that do not understand your path and that you have started to grow your own garden. You stop trying to take from others' gardens and you're growing your own. As we say, you're staying in your own lane. And when you do that, you don't have any competition. All right, so that is really all I have for you guys today. I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. And the full moon is coming up. I will be uploading probably tomorrow's daily message will be a full moon reading for December 12th. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am doing personal readings. Everything is going to be in description link below. I love you so much. Ashe and goodbye.